So hello everyone. So today we are at IIT Kanpur in the Scottex School of Sustainability, and we are with the uh, dean of this school, Professor Sachidanand Tripathi. Welcome to your media platform, sir. Thank you for so, coming over. So thank you, sir. And this is our second interaction with uh, Tripathi, sir, Professor Tripathi, sir. So uh, first it was in I Inventive related to your project and other things. Mentor has other mentors basically interacted with you. So so as you uh, told me, sir, this Scottex School of Sustainability at IIT Kanpur. This is the first fully interdisciplinary school in India, right, sir? So uh, I start from your background only, sir. Sir, please tell us about your academics and your research background to our viewers, sir. Well, I am a civil engineer by training, and then I entered into environmental engineering. Uh, I did my M Tech, B Tech from IIT BHU, and then I pursued PhD abroad, and I worked at Bhabha Atomic Research Center, and then I had another postdoc, and after that I joined IIT Kanpur, and since. 2003 that is about now 23 years i have been here as a faculty member right so, IIT Kanpur. so as you told sir this is a first school uh, first fully interdisciplinary school in india sir please tell us about this school first sir so the kotak see sustainability is going to be a major objective for the human race to uh, look for or achieve in order to combat the climate change right sir now as we all know that uh, sustainability is a very interdisciplinary idea yes sir Uh, keeping that in mind, IIT Kanpur established this Kotak School of Sustainability with a very generous CSR grant from Kotak Bank. Right. Uh, just about uh, one year, four months ago, it's a very new initiative, and it actually has faculty members drawn from every major areas or themes of IIT Kanpur, be it engineering and technology, humanities, sciences, and management. and currently about 50 faculty members are in some way contributing to the objectives of school to from the very beginning school already houses four existing units right sir. sustainable energy engineering then center for ganga rejuvenation center for environmental science engineering and keshavan center for energy policy and climate solution and we are hoping to add another new department on environment climate and water very soon Right, and that's why you can see that it is covering from energy to water to climate by bringing a very interdisciplinary team of people, which is required to tackle these kind of yes, problems. Yes, true, true, sir. And sir, we were also discussing about one of the new course which uh, this school is also going to start from this uh, uh, onwards only, this session only. That is the M Tech in AI for Sustainability. Please tell about that, sir, because people who are basically looking for the opportunity in the coming uh, months. so they want to listen about this course sir yes i i thank you for coming here in very timely manner this program just got approved by it kanpur senate last week and this is a new program mtech in artificial intelligence for sustainability will be two year mtech program at it kanpur one year taught courses and one year thesis which actually integrates artificial intelligence with sustainability beat water climate change climate resilience and disaster management kind of issues now the program is designed in a way that students who come in they learn about scientific programming and uh, scientific computing and python programming then they also get a introductory course on artificial intelligence and then there will be a full lab which basically train them how to apply some of the ai techniques into sustainability related critical issues be it in water or air in soil then there are other very interesting courses we have designed one of them being sustainability of artificial intelligence because this technology is going to demand more and more energy consumption so right. we need to look that how and what kind of energy we need to look for green energy right. to sustain this data center yes, then there are other aspects like regulatory human ai interaction which will be part of this course and there are two other interesting course i will just name them one is integrating blockchain with sustainability which will ensure traceability of carbon footprint across the value chain of a product and other courses on physics and ai approach to climate modeling and finally there is another course to make it very wholesome program is on entrepreneurship in sustainability okay. so that's a very new program and we believe it's a totally unique program in indian institutions right sir and and these three programs that are also going to be start or is it under this uh, ai mtech in ai for sustainability course only sir 
that students will also come from diverse backgrounds and only it will make a very healthy mix yes. so that they will interact and they will also try to form group to solve these challenging yes. problems in yes. future so therefore we are re really looking for students coming from almost all engineering backgrounds be it civil engineering mechanical engineering computer science electrical engineering chemical engineering or from having a masters degree in physics or atmospheric sciences or like that or having a master degree in math so mainly most of the engineering disciplines having a proper btech or having a masters degree in physics or maths and with a valid gate score that right. is what is the will right. make them eligible to apply for this program so if you talk about these are the basically sir the eligibility criteria to apply over there so what will be the selection criteria that is gate is one of the exam but will there be any interview or written or anything will be there to check their background and their Uh, basically that why they want to basically enter into this course because there are two things are there sustainability and artificial intelligence i think you also will be looking means before entering any student to get selected for this particular course you must be having want to check that yes these these things should be there in any particular candidate so is it like that sir it's very it very true that of course having a valid uh, you know btech provisional certificate and a gate score makes them eligible as you rightly said yes. that but then generally uh, we j conduct interviews right sir to look into that the what's the interest of the student and then only he will be able to contribute to fullest of his ability to the program while doing the course work or the thesis will conduct interview now since the program only has been approved by senate last week the exact modality whether yes. there also will be another written test along with interviews these are still things we are thinking and soon we'll be able to you know put it right. in the social media so that students will right sir come but at the btech level sir means that is totally academics and normally what you told that these things will be taught or they they will co co come across these courses like this python this java and these things so but at the bachelor level other than computer science very less number of other branch students basically go through this python and the languages so how you are basically going to select this candidate other than the computer science means uh, is it the mathematics or any other thing basically you are looking in a candidate sir so generally if any student has got a masters in physics or yes. maths he generally has the maths up, up to uh, undergraduate yes. level and same is for the engineering student right sir and as i told in the very beginning that's why we have a an first course is a basically scientific computing and python programming right sir so that the student learn about python because python is kind of a lingua franca main language for yes. doing computing yes, or ai and ml yes, so therefore that's why we want that they learn the computing scientific computing that is numerical modeling and maybe statistical uh, you know approaches and everything but they apply already they learn python and apply those to basically actual do the computation and parallelly a course uh, on introduction to ai will be going where since they have already learned some part of python so by the time the project will work will start in the introductory course on ai they would be very well versed to actually start applying these python skills into writing those programs or under, understanding those programs and executing those projects and, and this is important. as this is course is only going to be as of now the two year mtech program sir so what will be the career opportunity students looking may, may look after this uh, doing this masters in this particular course sir so uh, we have uh, kotak school has advisory committee and which has some very senior uh, people from not only government but also from industry right sir and this whole course proposal was discussed in that advisory committee as well and uh, people the senior people from industry felt that that they are looking for exactly these kind of people to serve in the role of sustainability officer right now every company in future will require to have sustainability officers yes. at all level yes. and then eventually they becomes chief sustainability officer or you must have seen head sustainability yes until now mostly people coming from economics or finance background were serving in that role because we did not have these kind of program but as more and more the economics engineering finances they all will you know be clubbed into these complex problems 
that people having background in all these will be required to serve. So, I think sustainability officer is one thing. In future, urban planner, city planner and also that really taking their career uh, into research. Right. future all these three four options are available for them if we talk about the entrepreneurial opportunity sir yeah. through this domain so what could be that sir from this particular thing so domain? see already what i have seen that uh, there is a massive growth in terms of startups startups in the sustainability domain right sir. in water air has been my own research area and i'm seeing that almost every month i am approached by a new startup okay right now as you have more and more monitoring because one thing has happened that in order to basically preserve the environment you try to monitor it yes. right that's one yes. thing yes right now as you start monitoring more and more or for other reasons right wherever you do monitoring of the environment or the amount of data is going to increase dramatically and therefore the moment data size increases ai and ml comes handy to do analytics so, there is a problem of sustainability, you want to monitor to basically have some handle on this and you want to basically solve it using the data analytics. So, therefore, artificial intelligence and integrating that with the sustainability and creating these kind of venture or companies who can really offer solutions to the people right across maybe city level, state level, at the national level or to the companies, I think this will come very handy for them because we have a course also on the entrepreneurship in sustainability in embedded in this program. Right sir. Sir at the bachelor level student means after the immediately after the bachelor level they basically want to do, go into the domain of job like you earlier told that uh, there are students who go into the job then they come back and they do the research and all. So at the bachelor level how a student basically decide that they should go for the research domain or the higher studies domain or they should go for the immediate job. This is a very important question basically student asks sir, what I do. I am not able to basically identify that what my domain is basically. How they choose that sir? Yeah, you are, uh, I mean see that is a very much uh, individual choice yes. that and is driven by socio-economic conditions of the person and all right. And sometimes people take a job and then leave it. But that two things what I think are the driving factors here. One is of course as the socio-economic condition, financial condition of the person. And second, what is his passion? Yes. Right. Now, regardless, eventually what will succeed is your passion in life, right? Whether you join a job or you do research, correct? You can only sustain it. It is sustaining a job, right? Yes. We are talking about sustainability. Let's yes. not think about sustainability as a vertical. Yes. Think about sustainability as a horizontal. Mm -hmm. We want you take, you pick up any option. You are working for Europedia and you are working because you are liking it, mm -hmm. right? If, if the day you're, you're kind of, you, you find it, you become disinterested, you will look for other job, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So it is important that you work what you like mm -hmm. and that act eventually should decide that your interest is in, see, you, your interest is in an area. Now, job or research is basically kind of, it gives you a way to serve yes. or contribute to that, right? So, if you are interested in environment, either you join an environmental, uh, let's say, company or you choose research field to contribute to environment. It doesn't matter to me, correct? Both ways you are contributing. So, it's important that one should look for that for sufficient time period in horizon, right? In future, what is going to be your interest? And one also should look for what is the kind of potential in that field. If the mm. field is emerging, mm. of course, then mm. it makes sense to join right. that kind of area. Because um, till now, I would say that means very less number of students are there basically who are basically uh, want to enter into the interdisciplinary domains. Still, they are first, first challenge is that majority of the students because people basically connect us to the Europedia platform before making this decision also. Majority of the students want to go into the job after the BTEC immediately. Maybe for some student, they, it, it is the reason that they are not basically able to link that higher studies with the career. That linking of the higher studies with the career is very, very important. If they get, get this picture clear that, okay, if I do master's, if I do PhD, how it is going to convert that into my career. Secondly, once they enter into the higher studies, by choosing this particular thing, should I go for the core domain or should I go for the interdisciplinary domain? That is a second challenge for them, sir. Last question from you, sir. Anything you want to tell to the prospective students who are going for the 
uh, means they are going for the making the decision after this uh, this let us put this gate 2025 examination yeah. sir yes yeah. sir i think first of all my best wishes to them that they succeed correct yes, sir. the second uh, you actually asked a very very important question see i think the students now who are going to be the future generation and who will serve the society serve the country who will pass out in 2027 20, mtech with at the age of 22 Right, 20 years down the line, India will be looking to become Vixit Bharat, yes, 2047. Yes, they yes. will be directly contributing yes. to the society, yes. the nation to bring, make it a developed country. Now see, you look at any problem, you look at the like problem like I, iPhone, mm -hmm. this comes handy to me. Mm -hmm. Just You see that how many type of people must have worked to create that kind of product, mm -hmm. which to my understanding, Tens of crores of people, tens of crores, maybe 40, 50, I don't know, exactly, are using across the world. You see, best products or com most complex problems are solved by interdisciplinary people. Mm. You think about the problem of now climate change. Or you, mm. let's, I give you a problem where I have been working for now 10 years, I'm putting my uh, day in, day out into that. The problem of air quality. Mm. Correct? Look at this problem. It involves emissions, it involves emissions from industries. It involves emissions from uh, even like people burn things on road. It involves the road dust. So therefore, it involves first of all understanding where is the source is. Then kind of advancing the technology so that you have better control or you bas basically go for the greener energy. Mm -hmm. So it also brings the energy people. So you have control and instrumentation. You have energy people. You have environmental engineer. Just to give you a simple idea or the people who like to predict where the plume is going, mm. where it is going to impact, mm. then the physics people or climate modeler. And finally, how does it impact people? Brings the health, yes. doctors, correct? Yes. So you see that to understand the complexity of a problem, I told you the air quality which you have been dealing, right? The entire North India is dealing with this. I just named that five, six kind of people to come together to solve this problem. So I think you take now any real problem of the world today. It requires an interdisciplinary approach. Yes. What is required for us sitting in academic institutions is to basically start training the student so that they get a flavor of this interdisciplinarity into the core education and then applying it into their research. Yes. And once they do it, when they do the project, so very important thing is that when they do the project, we need to give them some real problem. Even a short problem, but a real problem so that they need to work with other department students and and their advisor has a major role yes. that he also yes. chose a topic and he shows and demonstrate that he's working with other professors and who is not coming from his discipline then I think students will be inspired but I can tell you that if you want to make an impact as the things move you have to adopt an interdisciplinary approach and to you, make a real impact. means raise very important things, sir. This uh, 20 years down the line, we are talking about the Vixit Bharat. And I say to the students also that only engineering domain can contribute the best way. Engineers can make the best way to contribute for this particular thing to be the Vixit Bharat. The major role is going to be of the engineering and especially told that the interdisciplinary domain, sir. That I normally told to the students also, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank All you. these things. Are